HomeKit security systems. Today we're gonna to talk about our HomeKit security system and how we can do more with it. What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out another video. Uh, for those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I am building an affordable smart home using HomeKit. Each week I'm putting out a new HomeKit smart home video released on Sundays. I did a video a little while ago, uh, kind of a review and setup of the Acara system. So I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. Um, but this is just kind of a basic do-it-yourself alarm system. They've got a lot of sensors and things that you can add throughout the house. So we've done all that. Um, but today what I'm going to do is we're going to set up some automations and I'm going to show you how you can kind of do a little bit more with this security system if you decide to, to start using something like this. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to customize our alarm a little bit. Uh, we're going to set up some automations that will help us to get the most out of this alarm. First I'm going to set up a basic automation, turn on all the lights 100% in my house when the alarm is triggered. That way if it's ever triggered, in the middle of the night or whatever, all the lights will come on, wake everybody up, scare away the bad guy. That's easy enough to do. Next, we're gonna set up uh, a little bit more advanced. Uh, what we're gonna do is set up a, a kind of an away mode or a lock, lock the house down mode. When we use this automation, it's going to set the alarm, but it's gonna give us 60 seconds before the alarm is set in order to let us get out of the house. So we can yell at our HomePod to set the alarm or whatever. And at that point, it's going to set the alarm, uh, turn off all the lights, uh, shut the garage, lock the door, all that kind of stuff. Last but not least, we're going to set up an automation that's going to disarm the alarm. The worst thing you wanna do is come home and set off your alarm. It's really annoying, you have to fumble for your phone or whatever. Uh, so we're gonna set up an automation uh, a little bit more advanced that's going to allow us to automatically disable the alarm when we come home. Okay, so first up is an automation. It's gonna turn on all the lights when the alarm's triggered. Let's go ahead and set that up. We'll open up our home app, go into automations. We'll do a new automation. Uh, when an accessory is controlled, we will look for our alarm system. There it is. We will do when the alarm, when it is triggered anytime. So you can set up specific ones for night or whatever um, if you want, but I'm just gonna do this uh, for any time. Choose next. So I'm gonna choose my lights. Turn these on outside, my outside lights. And I'm basically just gonna turn everything up to 100. And there you go. That should do it for that. So here it is, when the security system is triggered, all these lights, indoor lights, outside lights, my bedroom lights, all these lights are gonna come on. That's our first automation. So now let's set up our second automation. This one is gonna be sort of an away mode. This is gonna be based on the security system. So when the security system is armed, it's going to lock the front door, turn off all the lights, make sure the garage is shut, do all those things. But it's important that we give ourselves enough time uh, to get out the door. So that's where we will have to set this up in the Mi Home app to delay the alarm. We have to do this in the Mi Home app. All right, so if we go ahead and open up the Mi Home app, um, and I've already got my hub, paired my hub with the Mi Home app, so everything's working here. If I tap on the hub, choose auto, and go to alert, delay effective time, here is where we're gonna be able to uh, delay the time. So if we turn this on to say 60 seconds, when we toggle on our alarm, it's gonna give us 60 seconds before any of the sensors will trigger the alarm. In other words, it'll give us time to get out the door, do whatever you gotta do before it starts, uh, before it actually triggers. So I'm gonna turn that on to 60 seconds. This shows all the um, sensors that will trigger your alarm. 
you can ch turn you can change how long you want that alarm to go on for i put continuously until i disarm the alarm okay so now that we have that delay set up in the me home app we can go ahead and set up a new automation in the home app we'll do when an accessory is controlled go back down to our office security system and i will choose when it arms go next Let's see, I'm just gonna lock the front door and shut the garage uh, for now. We'll do, make sure, we'll make sure all the lights, make sure all those are off. Okay, so when the system is armed, we're gonna turn off everything, lock the front door, just close the garage. Choose done. And that's it. When the security system arms, it's going to do all of these things. And we have that 60 second delay when we arm it to get out the house now. So we can use our HomePod. Uh, I can use my iPad that's mounted on the wall to arm this. Uh, another thing worth noting, you can do like the Fabaro button or any HomeKit button. You maybe want to hide that. You can use that as a toggle to turn the alarm on and off before you walk out of the house or, or walk into the house. So let's go ahead and test this out and see how this uh, 60 second automation and everything works. Hey Siri, arm the security system. Still arming the security system. Check back in a few minutes to confirm. All right guys, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is set up an automation that will automatically disarm the alarm when I open my garage. Now I did set up an automation that opens my garage when I arrive home. This uses a kind of a tailored technique because this is a secure accessory. Uh, so usually you have to uh, authenticate it using your fingerprint or your face ID or something. There's a good tutorial by My Home Kit Home. I'll put a link in the description where you can check that out on setting up automations with these secure accessories. All right, so let's go ahead and add one more automation. When an accessory is controlled, choose our garage door. And when this opens, we will disarm our security system, and that's it. So now when we get home and our garage is opened, or we open the garage, our security system will be disarmed before we even have to get out of the car, unlock the door. You can also have this unlock the door, do other things if you want, turn on lights or whatever. All right, so those are kind of some cool ways that I have set up automations and scenes and things with my uh, security system. Let me know if you guys are using this security system. Again, my name is Shane and on this channel, I am building an affordable smart home using HomeKit. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, check the bell icon so you get notified when I make new videos. And uh, until the next time, we'll see y'all later.